Hey what's up guys this is Ronaldo CS75 first of all a big news for you guys as you might be aware of the fact that the FUT13 web app was down for like 12 to 14 hours it went down yesterday night it came back today morning I f at first I thought maybe the servers went down or something was wrong with the servers but no we just came to know about it it was on eSports Twitter as well that they have banned the cheaters I repeat they have banned the cheaters I don't know if you are aware of this or not but there was some kind of a glitch or an exploit whatever you may call it which allowed some users to get over a million coins and also get some sick players like Ronaldo Messi. Well basically EA found found out who uh, who was the guys who were doing it and they banned them permanently that's right they have been handed a permanent ban so for the time being we are free of the cheaters and glitches so that's cool the market will be much more stable now so yeah guys now this video I'm gonna be giving you some tips on how to trade in FIFA 13 ultimate team now if you do like the series and to keep the series alive please guys leave a like sub and comment and let me know if I do make any mistake in this one or whatever it might be so I'll just give you a quick update on what has changed from the first episode of FIFA 13 Ultimate to Team to this one. Basically, you must have seen that I had I had some players like uh, I guess it was Gamiro and Sissoko and Barry and all these guys. Well, I managed to sell them. I sold Gamiro, Sissoko, and all these guys for the, all the goals basically for less than 1k. That's what their price is. And I bought this Barry for like 500 coins in a 4 one 2 one 2 formation and I managed to sell him for a thousand coins which is a decent enough profit. Now what I bought basically you'll see my coins and you'll go like what kind of a trading series I'm doing when I can't even make coins myself well basically that's not cause I'm bad at trading but that's cause I got some sick deals. Yes guys I'm just gonna show you real quick yes I bought this Andrea Perlo I repeat Perlo I bought him for 9.1k yes guys that's right 9.1k this guy will definitely sell for way more than 60k right now but that's when somebody at least has 60k in here I don't think so anybody would have that much now but in a day or two definitely he'll be selling for more than that next up I got this Bannon he's a silver CM if you don't know about him he's a pretty sick player he was a brilliant player in FUT12 as well he's got some beauty stats and I got him for 2.6k so yes I can sell him for quite decent profit as well he'll sell for more than 20k that's for sure and I have this random bronze in there from Barcelona who cares about him and Marco Marina I'm still trying to sell him he's just not selling and I got the Dench kid Frimpong well that's just for fun I just bought him for I don't know just for no reason at all basically we're gonna just give you some quick trading tips so first trading tip coming your way this is gonna be a very basic episode I'm not gonna go into the detailed tips for you guys that'll be coming up in the next episodes of the series so first of all the best way to trade your way through is gold in a 4-1-2-1-2 formation and if you want to like narrow down your search and everything you should probably select a league I'd say pick Barclays Premier League that's cause you will be familiar with the players they won't feel more alienated to you or anything like that and you'll be much more aware of the prices as well. So go to the 41212 Barclays Premier League goal and just give it a quick search. Now tons of players will come up. You'll be thinking that who to buy and who not. First of all just forget about these non rares or non shinies because uh, these guys they won't sell for much I repeat they won't sell for much that's cause the card weight which means the amount of cards in the market will be pretty high as compared to the rares so don't waste your time on them just think about these rares and in these rares especially the ones which will be in demand by that I mean like Adele Tarot. he's like a 5 star skiller and you will find him in many teams cause he's got great stats 5 star skills and everybody loves skills so he's like a very popular player goes for Czech and Johnson as well now you will be thinking like okay this check is up for 41,000 but how the hell am I supposed to buy him for that amount well don't basically what you have to do is just don't go for any ridiculous price like Adel Tarat is here for 5.9k I don't really think so he will sell for that much cause he still has a pretty high card weight it's not low for him 
so there will be many other delta rods in the market so he won't sell for 5.9k though okay. same but he will sell for decent amount and if you can get him for anything under 2k that's a good profit now here we have a good example we have junior hoylet look at that pace 91 pace 80 dribbling he's in a 41212 lm and trust me guys this guy will be going for great amount trust me you'll be able to make decent profit on him just add him to the watch list i've done that already so i'll just give you one more player as an example we have jagielka there 2.4k and who else we have jones can win jones i guess that is yes now as you can see there this is gigs yep now gigs also i've got him added on my watch list you can see there's a 3k buy now on him but it's just a 900 coin start price so basically you add such kind of players which are going to be in demand gigs will always be in demand because he plays for united of course so people will want him in this team plus he's got decent free kick stats and passing as well so in a 4-1-2-1-2 he's a cam now next step you want to do is just before buying these guys go and check in the market at what they're selling for like for example let's just quickly check gigs how much he's going for in a 4-1-2-1-2 formation so that's just one in the market that's a brilliant thing there's just one in the market so you can get him for a good amount i guess now if you're not sure that since there's only one in the market in that formation and you have no idea about the price just check for any formation he's usually going for around more than 2k that's for sure so getting him for anything around 2.5k in a 41212 will be a great deal for you guys now another question that might spring up in your mind is why 41212 only well there's a reason behind it this formation was one of the most popular formation in FUT12 and also one of the most costlier ones so people love this formation and I think so that's going to be the same thing in FIFA 13 as well so hopefully the players in this formation or not hopefully they actually do sell for more amount than the normal cards like for example this junior hollet in a 4-1-2-1-2 formation if you are to get him in 2.5k you will be able to sell him for more than 5k I guess yes but if you buy him in any other formation let's say 3-4-1-2 or some random formation you won't be able to sell him for that much so that's the reason I'm saying 4-1-2-1-2 guys so I hope you got the basic idea about this 4-1-2-1-2 method that I'm using I'm saying Barclays Premier League cause the players there there's a huge variety of players and you can easily differentiate between who's good and who's bad cause in other markets it's not that easy to differentiate between them so yeah that's it for the 4-1-2-1-2 method now moving on you guys will, must have heard about the 59th minute trick or the 59th minute method well I'd say do not go for that method cause it might just take you ages to even get there now suppose I'm searching here gold Barclays Premier League no formation or anything just simple in a league I'm searching gold players looking for the 59th minute it starts with one minute and if I just keep doing this and even if I go to till 10 pages trust me we won't be anywhere near even the 10 minute mark so time and it's just a complete waste although it's it takes a huge amount of time if you do get to the 59th minute you are sure to get some deals that's cause people there you know when they are in a hurry they put their players up for one hour for some ridiculous amount just for like you know maybe you'll see a Torres selling for 5k bin that's possible there have been instances where people have got Ronaldo for 200 coin bins and stuff like that so yeah if you get to the 59th minute you are sure to get a deal or two but it's too much time consuming and I don't suggest it there are many other methods many alternate methods that I'll suggest and you should try them first do not do the 59th minute I'd say <coughs> now next tip that I can give you is please do not make a team right now as right now the players prices are not stable wait till the game is coming out and before like two days before that then start working on a team although if you are getting the players for like ridiculously low amount you should so guys I'd say do not make a team and by the way I just won this goals I just skipped that part I didn't record it I just won this goals on auction if he was in my watch list I'll just give you a quick look I wanted him real real bad so I got this goals and so yeah he's gonna be there in my team yes I love him he's a great legend 
so i guess these two tips will be it guys in the first episode although there'll be loads more tips i haven't gone into the details yet i've just given you a very basic method to look for the players and i hope you like this i'll repeat it just quickly for you 4-1-2-1-2 goals in a popular league preferably back race premier league look for the rare players the gold ones and the popular ones do not go for non rares as you won't be able to make much profit on them do check the prices before buying them and do not make a team right now and the 59th minute if you get to the 59th minute minute it's well and good otherwise i'd say do not do that it's too much time consuming and it's a waste of time basically so i hope you like the episode please leave a like sub and comment if you would like to if you really like the series and you would want it to continue so till next time ciao